Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, March 2023 and we're back in the shop. We got the heater going back in the country, home from holidays, and I thought I would start out with a video. This is not really a winter video, but anyway, um, I bought this the other day on a buy and sell website. The lady was selling it. It's one of these sea scooters, so it's a Sea Dew brand um, sea scooter dolphin and it's one of these devices that'll pull you around underwater um, this is just kind of a kids toy style one but the price was right we got it for 20 bucks and the seller told me it needed a new battery so i was going to make a video about how to do a battery replacement on one of these devices um, you can buy a battery a design particularly for this off the shelf um online I, I believe they sold these at canadian tire you can probably get the battery from canadian tire but it's overpriced it's kind of a proprietary connection on the battery but the battery itself we can get elsewhere for a lot cheaper and i'm going to show you in this video how to make the the proprietary connection on the battery that comes with this thing fit a standard replacement battery that you're going to buy somewhere else online saving you some money so i'm just going to unbox this thing and uh, show you what we're talking about i've already had this open i had a look at it the other day so kind of already know what we're up against but i'm just going to show you guys just going to show you guys what we got so here's the device it's in pretty nice shape it's got a few little dings and bumps and bends on it but it's um overall not bad um also what came with it was a charger some instructions now I noticed uh, earlier when I had this thing apart it's actually a sticker yeah right here it tells you that you need to recharge the battery every three months now that's because this thing uh, well, where we live probably only gets used for three or four months of the year if that and uh, it'll sit the rest of the time and these uh, lead acid batteries don't like sitting um, they they die so I'm pretty sure there are tons of these devices sitting in people's garages with dead lead acid batteries so I hopefully this video helps you out um, no one's gonna pull this thing out and charge it up every three months it just ain't gonna happen all right so pull the nose off There's your battery. It's just a typical lead acid battery. And then this is the connection that um, CDU, I guess, or whoever makes this thing has come up with. Um, this is your ground connection. And this here is your positive connection. And they plug into that plug right there. Um, this battery is totally dead. I haven't even bothered charging it. Uh, you can tell just by the age of the thing that it's going to need a new battery. So pull this out. And there it is. There's again your warning sticker to charge this battery every three months. Obviously, they don't have a lot of faith in them. Um, and what we want to do is have a look at the labeling on this battery. And there's a part number there for you. Uh, BT 7.5-12. And then there's a model number. Now, this, this battery is, is put together for this device. And what they've gone and done is they've soldered uh, the connection, the terminals, to uh, this wire, which has this plug that is the only plug that fits that plug. So a lot of people will pull this out and they'll look at it and they'll say, okay, well, we need a new one of these batteries with this plug on it. Now I'm going to show you in this video how to remove this plug from this battery. We're actually going to cut it off and then I'm going to show you how to install this cord plug onto a new replacement battery that's a lot cheaper than buying this battery with this cord from Canadian Tire or from Sea-Doo or from whoever sells this, this particular part right here. Okay, welcome back guys. This section of the video is actually a about a month or two later than the previous clip you just saw i um, had to source one of these batteries so um what i'm going to do is show you how to transfer the proprietary connector here uh that comes on the original battery to this replacement battery now i was able to get this battery for um 
is it $18 or $19 from the source uh, electronics company. And I know I looked at uh, replacement batteries like this that already had this wire on them. They were close to $80 or $90. So you can save yourself a pile of money by doing this. And I'm just going to show you real quick how, uh, how this works. Um, so what you want to do is get yourself a couple of these spade connectors and they actually connect onto the new battery just like so nice and simple like that and what we want to do is take the wiring harness so this proprietary connection plug right here and attach it to these two spade connectors like you've seen they've done here uh, put a little heat shrink on there like that and uh, clip them onto the new battery uh, so what you'll end up doing is you take your wire cutters, clip your, clip your positive, clip your negative. So you got that guy right there. Get rid of this battery, send it to the recycling yard. And now what you want to do is strip, simply strip like that. Then you want to take these guys. Now, guys, I personally don't like these yellow connectors. So what I usually do, or sorry, these yellow insulators. So what I usually do is I'll remove them just like that and get rid of that. So you don't need those insulators if you're going to be using the, the heat shrink. So you just remove them like that. Now you want to cut yourself a couple pieces of heat shrink. Oh, like that one two and now take your connector take your piece of heat shrink slip the heat shrink over the wire tidy up your strands take your connector like so slip that on there like so and give it a crimp then take your heat shrink and just slip it down to the end like that you don't have to cover the whole thing uh, you just want to slip it down to the end so same thing we're just gonna tidy up those wires slip the heat shrink on take our oops go this way Take our connector, same thing, put it on there, crimp it, like so, and slip our heat shrink. Now all we got to do is take our heat gun and heat gun these heat shrinks so they shrink, or you can use a lighter, whatever you want to do. And then uh, here's basically your con two connectors. Connect like that connect like that and now we've got the proprietary connector on our less than twenty dollar battery and you've repaired this thing for uh, a quarter of the regular cost by doing it yourself and sourcing a replacement battery so here's the device guys and uh, basically just drop that battery down inside there's the two connectors and plug the the proprietary plug in into that connector there This one you, you want to hold like so under the water and you have to engage that one and that one. And you're, I guess, motoring through the water. <laughs> I'd love to give you guys a, a demo of this thing in some water, but the water around here is really cold and I'd probably end up with hypothermia going for a swim right now. So we're going to leave the video at that, showed you how to replace the battery on one of these sea scooters on the cheap side we're going to post this thing on marketplace now and hopefully someone buys it for some fun this summer thanks for watching hit the subscribe button i'll make some more videos about stuff like this and this uh, next video coming out we're going to do this little honda outboard motor look for that one probably in a few days thanks for watching